Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where I just went through our jobs here off camera. I feel like it's not amazingly interesting. We followed the exact same process we have a million times before and mostly what I did was I prioritized getting additional minerals. Now you'll see here we have no minerals and we're losing currently 700 per month. I'm not sure how real that is. I'm going to sell off some food. We're going to buy in 5,000 minerals to keep us afloat for now. So that'll do for the moment, and we're going to tick on forward at fastest speed here. Fleet asset lost. Which will hopefully be relatively fast. This is not the fastest thing in the world, is it? <laughs> it's definitely moving slower than I would like. Fleet but I mean, that's lost. late game Stellaris for you. So we'll hop into Wild Door here. We should have this done quite soon. We're losing some reinforcement fleets. That's to be expected. There must be something pretty major happening here, or I need to restart the game again. Although I just started the game, so I wouldn't think it would be that. That would definitely be odd if that was the case. Now, I think this is just standard amounts of lag. Stellaris late game is usually laggy, so that's fine. We're, of course, chasing down this colony ship, and we eliminated it, eliminated it very quickly. That's great. That is a Pictling location? Okay. I think we'll just eliminate that along with everything else here. So I'm thinking about the path that we're going to take through here. I think we'll hit Ovani first, largely because I want to have additional targets for our fleets here. Where are we actually landing? Dominion? Yes, it would be Dominion. 366, and is that the only location? I think so. Okay, so we'll have these guys land on Dominion then. That's absolutely fine. Now, how long until our matter decompressor finishes? Okay, that's going to be 1,300 days. That is going to be a big boost to our mineral production, but we certainly need more. So, looking in on this... We have mining subsidies active. We could turn on Omnifarious Acquisition. That would put us net negative in our unity. It is an option. What if we turned Omnifarious Acquisition on and mining subsidies off? What would that net us? I think we'd still be net negative on Unity. I'm interested in seeing what this puts our minerals at. Okay, that is not enough of a gain to compensate for the Unity loss. So we'll turn the mining subsidies back on and Omnifarious Acquisition back off. For the time being, that's fine. We're working on the mineral problem. Actively. So that's okay. We do need to continue to work on reinforcing our fleets, of course. No fleets are in need engaged. of reinforcement. That's because we're out of dark matter, right? Yeah, we're definitely out of dark matter. I'm going to buy in 25 here. And now we're out of alloys and also dark matter. <laughs> so that'll be fine for now. We're going to need to get some of these done, of course. The Mindful Swarm is still being worked on. And where is the Mindful Swarm, Commencing anyway? Commencing seizure of planetary assets. I feel like it should be on its way in. I don't know if it is, though. Did I order that? No, it's in real Samant. So we'll have it come on over to Ovani. And that'll be absolutely fine. We'll move all of these guys up. And I think we'll just take a slightly awkward path here where we're going to go like so. That'll take a little time. And I want these guys to head over to Ovani. And we're going to land on, for now, Fool's End. Although I see that that's an FTL inhibitor. There's probably quite a bit on here. 7,000. Okay. There's 7,000 on here. So we're going to bombard at Fool's End for the time being. I want to make sure that the Mindful Swarm is set to indiscriminate bombardment. There we go. And we're not going to go on to Fool's End just yet. We're going to take over some of these other locations first. So Stigmatar, zero strength. Zero strength. Okay, both of these are going to be very, very simple for us to take over. We're going to come over and bombard over here while we're traveling, while we're on our way. 
and that'll be fine. Research actualized. But there's a lot there, no doubt about that. We did just get, get gravitational analysis, which is nice. We're negative in our energy credits, which I really strongly dislike. Potential market <laughs> survey completed. We definitely have a bunch of work to do, economically. So at this point, we should probably think Planetary about heading over here. We did just get Wildor under our control. So I want these guys to head over and land on Violetti. We also can get a veteran level here. We'll grab Invader. Cool. Yeah, I very much don't like being negative in energy credits and minerals right now. That's pretty non-ideal. We're going to get a Unity upgrade soon, I guess. That's something. We should check in on, like, this trade station. This is really more of a mining station. So we're going to switch this over to be a mining station. That will increase our output there. That's great. We can also go to a mineral purification hub, and I would love to do that. We've got a tech world here, and this really, really is a tech world. No doubt about that. We can upgrade that to an advanced research complex. We're going to need the jobs eventually once these guys demote. What else do we have going on here? I already did a lot of these, but Dominion is set up very much as an alloy production world. It's not ideal, but it'll have to do for now. There's just not a lot that we can do here, really. I mean, we could replace this in theory. We really should put in a Ministry of Production, at least. We'll get that done. It's certainly not ideal. Let's take a look through some of these others. This is a demotion. This is a demotion. This is demotions. Here we do need two jobs. So we can resettle our worker jobs to either a generator or a mining world. So like Bardic and Prime. We can move you on over and we can move you on over. Cool. We'll need to wait for these two to demote no matter what. So we'll just leave them be for the time being. Anything else that we need here? Well, this fortress station has eight rulers that need to demote. That's one of our biggest problems right now, is we just have rulers that need to, to demote. We've got robots that cannot work here. So once again, we should move them over to mining or generator worlds. There we go. On this fortress station, demotions. Just demotions. And... Anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay. So that'll do for now. That will get us some additional minerals, but we're about to run out. So I'm going to sell off 5,000 food. We're gonna sell off about 1,000 consumer goods. I'm even gonna sell some rare crystals here. And we're going to buy in 5,000 minerals. That'll keep us afloat for a couple of months, but we've got an energy credits problem as well. Now that energy credits problem is caused by our naval upkeep. We know that for an, for an absolute fact. So, I mean, we're already on a Grand Fleet, reducing our upkeep by 20%. Desperate Measures is active right now, but honestly, we're going on the offensive here. We are in a defensive war, so that doubling of our ship build speed is kind of nice. But it's by no means required. So I think we're going to ditch Desperate Measures and go for Omnifarious Acquisition here to at least boost up our mineral gains. Our mineral gains are getting grim because we're getting a lot of alloy production worlds and not a lot of mining worlds. Hopefully that will change. Hopefully that will change. Hostile agents inbound. So these are going to, of course, instantly take over, right? That's not going to be any problem whatsoever. I wanna know how we're doing on Fool's End, already up to 14 devastation. So that's no problem at all. We're going to want to continue to reinforce our ships here. We're going to run out of energy credits very soon. To that end, I'm thinking about actually selling alloys. The price hasn't come back up. I think everybody's basically getting to the point where we are, where they've rebuilt their fleets. And nobody's really doing big battles. So that's probably why that price is dropping. 
Okay. Well, for now, Monetary this is market fine. Forfeited. Where is this? Crops of Blight? Ah, uh, Parima. Okay. Sure. Commencing seizure of planetary asset. Okay, so there's those two taken over. I want to pop in over here and see what they're actually producing. I mean, minerals. That's nice. We could certainly replace this with a pair of Astro Mining Bays. Probably actually three Astro Mining Bays. That would be fine. We're going to do exactly that. And up over here, we could replace, I think, all four of these with Astro Mining Bays as well. Cool. So checking in on Fool's End, yeah, this is down below 7k. We would still take substantial damage from attacking here, so we're going to wait on this. It's currently four, five days? Yeah, five days per army. But once our devastation gets up above 50, then that'll be even better. So that's absolutely fine. We'll let that proceed for the moment. I'm not too concerned about it. I am definitely concerned about Blocker, our energy credit David. situation. However, we know that we have the ability to get another Titan, and we probably shouldn't, but I'm going to regardless. So another Titan here, we're lacking 25 dark matter for it. That would take us a while to build that up. I'm gonna buy in 25 dark matter. It's not ideal for sure. And let's get a Titan building. That's gonna take 430 days, a little bit longer than our previous ones, but that's fine. Now I wanna check here. Okay. We're going to get some of these going. Our real limiting factor is dark matter. That's for sure. That is our limiting factor at this moment. So I want to keep an eye on this location. 65% devastation already? Wow, okay. Once we hit 75%, they'll take double damage, remember. So that'll be great. We're going to work our way through these very, very quickly indeed. We're at 73 74, and any moment now, 75. There we go. So now Hostile they're taking double damage. Inbound. Perfect. They're attacking us over here. Yeah, this is to be expected. They have basically all of their forces in Parima, and we're just not stopping them in any meaningful way. That's okay. We're not going to try to stop them over there. So this is absolutely ideal for right now. We know that we're working very, very quickly on Fool's End. Devastation is going to reach 100%. It's now what, three days? Yeah, it's just three days. We're at 57 here. It's close to being two days. Okay. Well, Devastation is now 100% here. And we'll just continue to work through that for the moment. I want to check in over this way. 3,023 total Dark Matter. Okay, we have 10. We'll reinforce that for the moment. And that's fine for now. But we're going to need additional Dark Matter, like 15 of it. I'm going to buy in 25. That'll be enough to fully reinforce everything here. So that's everything done, other than our new fleet, which we're not going to build until this Titan is here. So that'll be good. I'm concerned about our energy credit situation, for sure. Ready Swarm 1 is not an indiscriminate. Are all of these an indiscriminate, then? Watchful is not. Any others not? Because that will speed this up dramatically, potentially. So we'll come back in over here. We'll grab Fool's End, and how's this going? We're at 100%? 55. Okay, that was only a 2% difference, so that doesn't save us a day, sadly. But we're still making good progress, so that's fine. 34.54. We need to wait for these guys to get a lot weaker. No doubt about that. This is a pretty hefty location. Yeah, we'll institute the increased benefits. That's fine. No problem whatsoever there. We could probably launch our invasion now. 
do we want to? They only take double damage from bombardment. They don't take double damage from invasion. Okay. So I think we'll just wait here until this hits like 1,000. That should be fine. Checking in over here on our Matter Decompressor and Dyson Sphere. Yeah, those are still going to take some time. Cool. We'll pop out of there for day tick speed reasons. Perfect. And yeah, we're going to make our way around this direction. Ooh, this is laggy. Okay. So I really want to get this invasion done. It's unfortunate that this had almost 8k on it. That's definitely going to slow us down a bit. But not all that much, to be honest. We're down to 2400. I think we're going to go ahead and launch our invasion now. Until this invasion begins, we will continue to bombard here. But we're going to head on in. That'll be the idea here. So we're continuing to take out some of these armies, or at least do damage, up until the very moment of the invasion beginning. Once that happens, bombardment is no longer helpful. So we'll move these guys on at that point. Cool. We still dropped them down by, like, almost 400, which is not bad. Almost 500? Commencing seizure and there of we planetary go. We've asset. now invaded, so we're going to head this direction. And we'll just go attack Helos. Perfect. Did we not take over everything in Wildor? I thought we did. Hang on a moment. What are we missing here? Black Day. Come on over here. I thought for sure we had everything. I missed Black Day entirely. Okay. Well, we're going to go grab that. No problem. What else do we have for jobs here? Let's see. We'd love to continue to work on jobs. So we've got our urban world of corrosion. We definitely need to clear out this ruined district. This really needs demotions. We should probably put in an energy grid. And we can build the generator district. And I think think we can get away with swapping one of these guys for a generator district. Okay, we'll do something like that. On this urban world here, this is really set up for alloy production. We're going to have to resettle a bunch of things out of here. We can ditch our hollow theaters, though, and we could replace these with something else. What would we even want here, though? A stronghold? Not even, really. I guess we could go with something like a commercial zone to generate some trade value. I guess? That would work. So we've got a mining station here. I definitely think that we can replace these leisure engaged. districts with Astro Mining Base. That'll be something that we'll do. This is a foundry station. Hostile agents inbound. Okay, where are they attacking us? Probably still that same location. We've got a month tick here. There we go. Yeah, they're definitely still up in Parima. So that's okay. We are making our way through the state of Astraeus here. And it isn't going to take too much longer to make our way through all of this, in theory. Assuming that the game, you know speeds up a little bit, which would be nice. I do think that we should asset. consider building an industrial district here. We're definitely seeing our mineral gains start to come up. So that's great. We've got a research center here. And that very much is a research center. Although this is administrative arcologies Competitive here. Competitive station engaged. Planetary Interesting. market forfeited. For the time being, it's okay. We're mostly waiting on demotions here. Research station, yes. I want to get some energy credit production. So we do need to get some trade stations going, right? Planetary market No doubt about secured. that. We did just secure this in Wildor. So that's Black Day. And this is set up as a unification station. I'm going to move a number of these over to being trade districts. Possibly even all of them. 
Hello, pause menu. And then we're going to head up over this direction and be in position to head to Helos. Cool. How's our invasion going on Fool's End? Blocker liquidated. The answer is it is going reasonably well. We'll be done with that fairly soon. Cool. So no problem there at all. This is set up as a mining station right now. That's fine. I'm not concerned about that. This is allegedly a research Monetary station. Forfeited. And I kind of want to move it over into being a trade station, partially at least. So we'll do something along the lines of that. That'll be fine. So we're going to attack Helos fairly soon. I want to check in over this way. How strong is Hierophant? 187. Okay, that's not going to be a problem. So we'll move through that pretty quickly. Beautiful. Then I think we'll attack... This isn't connected here. Technically, our path should be Entropy's Maw, Bithia, then back this way. That's what our path should be. I don't love it, but I guess it's fine. So we know that the Absorbers are attacking up over here. That's completely okay. We like it. Planetary market secured. And as soon as the game gets caught up here, I want to move these guys over into Helos. And uh, we're still fighting this orbital ring. Okay, that'll take a bit. Wow, we're doing like no damage to it. Because we're just swarming here. We're not actually attacking it. Now that we got close enough for some of these to fire, we do a lot of damage. But we're not, m like, moving Hostile in, right? Inbound. We're going to land our armies here on Hierophant, though. And we're going to go up to Entropy's Maw. And that'll be perfect. We do need to reinforce our fleets a bit. And I'm betting we're short on Dark Matter at this point. That's almost certainly the case. Let's sell off, as soon as we get through this month tick anyway, let's sell off some exotic gases. There we go. Cool. And let's buy in some 250 dark matter. No, that's overkill. Let's buy in 50. Upscaling complete. That'll do for now. Now, now no ships are in need of reinforcements, and I actually believe that. So that'll be absolutely great. We do require additional units of energy credits. Station but we're getting slightly assault. better on that front. Slightly better. So we're not going to need an army for this or this, right? We do need one here, and this is going to be Port Hargreaves, 313, and Pelwich, 625. I guess we can get into position for that. So we would market. just move up over to here. And then these guys are currently attacking Hierophant, but that's not going to take long. So that's okay for now. We're going to move beyond Entropy's Maw into Bithia. And then once that's done, we're going to move here. Cool. Okay, so this mining world allegedly needs a job. And it actually does. We can't get any more mining on this mining world. So we could definitely build a generator district. That would be okay. We've got a unification center here. Planetary market But this secured. is also kind of a generator Planetary world. market forfeited. And I think I'm going to make it a primary generator world. So we'll do something kind of like that. Cool. So we've got the core over here, which doesn't engaged. really have anything else, but it needs a ruler demotion. Not a lot to be done there. That'll be fine. There's a lot of stuff going on in the galaxy right now. No doubt about that. We did just get some territories I saw from the Absorbers. I'm not sure where they acquired those. But it's fine. Apparently we are researching in the Prothoran Scourge? Why do you not have orders? Okay. I'm assuming that these guys need to, like, jump drive out. I don't know what's going on here. But they definitely can't be here. I don't know how they got there, 
or why they're there in the first place. But we're going to jump drive them out. And that'll be fine. That's very strange. Very, very, very strange. We are going to be attacking over here shortly. Any moment you guys want to jump drive, that would be great. Okay. Now they can be on science ship automation. Cool. Competitive station they were just stuck there. Very strange. So we'll be in position here very shortly. I want these guys also over... Actually, at the hyper relay. We're going to need the hyper relay for both. Cool. So that's fine. On Hierophant, how are we doing? This is very much a research world, although it's also a forge world. Okay. We will put in a Ministry of Production here, for sure. This is a big part of our problem. We keep getting Forge World after Forge World after Forge World, and we're not really getting Mining Worlds. We're also at minus 1k energy credits now. That's painful. But that's because we're at 50 out of 47 star bases. We can definitely get rid of this one. We can get rid of the one in Wildor. We can get rid of the one in Ulvani. That'll put us back down to our cap. Cool. Okay, we're going to need to move these guys on in. We'll move Transport Fleet 507 to Port Hargraves. And then we are going to move Transport Fleet 204 over to Hellwitch. Cool. And then these guys are going to move on to Sharaconda. Cool. So all we're going to need after that is Kalam. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to get rid of at least this Starbase pocket of the assault. state of Astraeus. I'm not sure. Yeah, they have Baranik up here. So we'll at least have to eliminate that. We'll see what else we need to take out after we get through Kalam. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Shadow Wolf, and Lohan80, Rogue Corvid, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.